Welcome to Movement and Function. Today I'm excited to bring you an excellent program for craniocervical stabilization. This video specifically focuses on strengthening exercises to stabilize and support the joints where your head meets the top of your neck, where your cranium meets your cervical spine, other names for these joints are your OA and AA joints, or your C0 to C1 and C1 to C2 joints. We have lots of different names for this area. We're going for the upper cervical spine, the top portion of your neck, where it meets your head. I've also posted two cervical stabilization videos, part one and part two. Those videos are focused on the entire cervical spine, from the top where your head meets your neck, all the way down to where your neck meets your thoracic spine. In addition, I've created a cervical thoracic stabilization video focused on the lower part of your neck and upper back. So if you're experiencing issues throughout your neck and upper back, you might also want to check out those videos. The first thing we need to do is a posture correction to make sure that we're performing all of these exercises with good posture in neutral alignment. Start by sitting comfortably on a supportive surface with your legs straight out in front of you and feet supported on the ground. Next we'll look at the pelvis. Be sure that your pelvis isn't rocked forward or slouched backward, but right in the middle. You should have a small arch in your low back. Now moving up the spine, lift your chest and relax your shoulder blades down and back. If you think of a string coming out of the top of your head, gently pull that string up to try to lengthen your spine as much as possible. Now the final step is to do a little bit of a chin tuck. Bring your chin straight back to give yourself a double chin. This isn't tipping your head down or looking up, but retracting your chin straight back. And then relax. Now in order to feel that cervical retraction a little better, let's do five chin tucks. So pull the chin back, Pause and relax. Again, tuck your chin, pause and relax. Now this is a very small movement. You're probably not seeing very much in this video. If you're starting with tall posture and you're not starting in a slouched position, there shouldn't be much movement here and that's just fine. You may feel engagement of muscles deep in your neck and that's great. You might also feel a little bit of a stretch at the base of your skull. That's great too. Continue five repetitions, just feeling that chin tuck, and then relax. Okay, to further progress the chin tuck, we're going to add a slight head nod. This is going to focus the movement all on the OA joint, the very top part of your neck. So we'll do the chin tuck, and then a very slight nod, and look down at the floor. This is a small movement. This isn't bringing your chin to chest. This should feel like your head is rolling this way, not moving forward at all. Tuck your chin first and then look down and perform a slight nod. Hold for five seconds and then relax. Be sure that your shoulders are relaxed this whole time. Don't let them creep up into your ears or tighten up. Just keep them nice and relaxed. Perform five repetitions or as many as you feel comfortable doing. Next we're going to do some isometric strengthening. Isometrics work by activating muscles without any movement. These are small muscles that we want to strengthen. We don't want to activate larger muscles. Starting with good posture, place your index and middle finger of both hands just along your cheekbone. As you press into your cheekbone, look down and start to engage your muscles as if you were going to nod your head this way and use the fingers on your cheekbone to resist that movement. Again, this is very light pressure. So press in, look down, and begin to nod. You should feel your fingers actually slide up your skin just a little bit. Hold for three seconds, and then relax. Repeat five repetitions, or as many as you can to start. Next we'll do an isometric retraction exercise. Place your index and middle finger on the base of your skull, right at the base of your occiput here, on both sides. Starting with tall posture, Perform a small chin tuck, applying pressure with your fingers to the base of your skull. Hold for three seconds, and then relax. Again, perform chin tuck, hold for three seconds, and then relax. And perform five repetitions, or as many as you can to start. Okay, now we're going to introduce a little bit more movement. This is going to be a rotation with a small chin nod. Start with tall posture. Turn your head about 10 degrees to the left and then perform the chin tuck with a very small nod looking down toward the floor. Hold for three seconds and then relax the chin tuck in the nod. 
Turn your head a little bit farther, another 10 degrees or so. Again, chin tuck and a little bit of a nod. And then relax. You should feel activation of muscles deep in the front of your neck and a bit of stretch at the base of the skull on the opposite side of the direction you're turning. So if you're turning your head to the left, you'll likely feel the stretch at the base of the right side of your skull. Okay, and then we'll switch to the right side. Start with tall posture, turn your head about 10 degrees to the right. Perform a little bit of a chin tuck and a small nod looking down to the floor. Hold for three seconds. Relax, turn your head another 10 degrees to the right. Perform the chin tuck and a small nod looking down toward the floor. Hold for three seconds and then relax the chin tuck and nod and return to the center. Continue alternating left side and right side five repetitions. The last exercise is deep neck flexor training with a slight head nod. Starting in a comfortable position, lying on your back with your knees bent, feet flat on the floor with a very small pillow support. You definitely don't want your head tipped up too far. So you could use a small pillow like this or have your head flat on the surface. Let your head rest comfortably and make sure your shoulder blades are relaxed. Now bring your index and middle fingers to the front of your neck just off to the side of the center. We want to feel engagement of the deep neck flexor muscles, not this diagonal muscle that pops out when you lift your head straight up. So bring your fingers just to the inside of that big diagonal muscle and just off to the side of the center. Be sure you don't press too hard. You don't want to affect your breathing. This should be light touch. All right, so with your fingers in place, now we'll do a little bit of a chin tuck. Give yourself a double chin and press your head down into the pillow. Now do a little bit of a chin nod. And you should feel engagement of muscles deep, deep down in your neck, underneath your sternocleidomastoid. This is a little difficult for me to do and talk at the same time. So you are likely to still see my SCM muscles pop out, but that's because I'm talking. I'm not able to fully relax while I'm doing this. Ideally for you, you'll be able to use your fingers to feel the engagement of those deeper muscles. All right. Hold the chin tuck for five seconds and then relax. Perform 10 repetitions or as many as you feel comfortable doing. While it's normal to feel some stretch discomfort and a little muscle activation soreness with these exercises, definitely stop right away if you feel any headache, numbness, tingling, or sharp shooting pain while you're doing these exercises. Any severe symptoms like that would indicate that these are not the best exercises for you. So stop right away if that occurs. A little bit of stretching at the base of the skull and feeling muscles activate in the front of the neck is totally normal. And that discomfort will go away as you do these exercises day by day, week by week. Start these exercises once a day, and if that feels comfortable for you, you could add in a second or third session for the day. Be sure to start slow and build up day by day as you feel that you can handle these exercises well. I hope these exercises are helpful for you to improve strength and stability and decrease pain in the area at the top of your neck, right where your head meet your cervical spine. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Here's to your healing, health, and happiness. Have a fantastic day.